Hey everyone, Oliver from Data Academy here. In this video, we're going to be learning about classes in Python. So first off, what is a class? We can think of a class as a template or a mold for creating an object. And all the objects we create are called instances. An analogy I can make is a cookie cutter would be a class and all the cookies it creates would be instances of that class. So let's create our very first class. We're going to make a customer class and they will be shopping in a store. So to write that class, we would first write class and then we're going to write customer. According to PEP8, the convention for class names is they should be in camel case, meaning every new word is capitalized without underscores. After this, I'm just gonna write pass in here. This is going to do nothing and it's a placeholder at the moment. To create our very first instance of a class, I'm gonna name it customer one. And then I'm gonna do that. So now if I write print customer one, on the right side, you can see that we have a customer object at this address. This is the memory location of our customer object. Now we're going to create some instance variables that are specific to this instance only. So we'll call one of them first name and then this person's first name will be John, and then their last name will be Smith, and then also their occupation is going to be teacher. So now when we run this code, it's going to print the exact same thing because we haven't actually changed our print statement. So now we're going to change that to customer one dot first name. Now this should give us John. And then if we do customer one dot last name, this should give us Smith. And if we do customer one dot occupation, this should be giving us teacher. Perfect. All of these things I just set, these are called attributes of the class, attributes of every object. And they are what describe this specific instance of that class. Now you might be thinking, Every time I want to create a new class, do I have to go through this process of writing customer one dot first name and last name and occupation all over again, just to make sure that it has all the information required? Well, no, that's what our init function is for. So inside our class, we're going to write def and we're going to do two underscores in it, which means initialize and then another two underscores. By convention, this is going to take a parameter self. This is the function that runs when we first initialize an instance of this class. And we're going to write self dot first name equal first name, self dot last name equals last name and self dot occupation equals occupation. Now on the right side, we have first name, last name and occupation, but where are these coming from? Well, these will be the parameters from our init function. And the reason we put self is because we are now referring to this specific instance that we're operating on. For example, if I was declaring customer one is equal to customer right here, then I put John Smith teacher in these brackets so I can fill out the parameters. Then if I put self dot first name, it's going to know that I'm referring to customer one specifically, this person right here. And also on the left side, self.firstName, these are variables that we're setting within just this instance of the class. On the right side, these are just the parameters. Usually it's good practice to have these as the same name. Well, now that we've put everything into the init function, we can safely delete all of this. And we can now write it right into our customer classes parameters. So there was first name, which was John, and then last name, Smith and then occupation was teacher. So now if we try running this code again, it's going to give us teacher because it's still customer one dot occupation. And then let's just also add his first name and his last name in the same print statement, John Smith. All right, so I just created this def in it as our first function inside the class. A function within a class is called a method of that class. And this is our very first method we've created. So now let's create some more. 
The next method we're going to create is called enter store. And we're just going to call it enter. And it's only going to take self as a parameter because that is by convention. And we're just going to print a message saying this customer has entered the store. And we're going to want to put their name there. So we're going to write self dot first name and then has entered the store. And then we're also going to create another method called exit. We're going to do the exact same thing. Has left the store. And we're also going to create a method in the middle. This one is going to be called pay or checkout def checkout. Has paid for all their products and now that we've created all these methods we can actually use these methods so let's do that we've made our first instance of this class let's create a second one this one is going to be me And then let's just say customer one dot enter and customer two also dot enter. I can't forget the brackets here and I can't forget two. And then only customer one, which is John, only John's going to buy something. So he's going to check out. I'm not going to buy anything. And then we're going to exit together. And now let's see what our output is. So John entered the store and Oliver entered the store. John paid for all their products and John has left and so has Oliver. And this perfectly corresponds to everything I wrote right over here. So those are the very basics of object-oriented programming and classes in Python. I hope this video helped and I'll see you guys all next time.